Hi there, this is Mega Supreme here with another Transformers toy review. Uh, this time I'm having a look at the Unique Toys uh, City set. Uh, I received this the other day from uh, Masterforce. Uh, so I sent this through. Um, really impressed with it. Um, I've been looking at this to get this for a little while, but uh, not managed to pick it up. Um, I'm just the head itself. Just show you some of the packaging that it, um, it came with. Um, so you get a really cool picture of uh, Metroplex on here. Um, and stuff. So it says Unique Toys uh, City Set. Bring it around and you've got a continued picture of the Metroplex and uh, Mainly King and the uh, Shark Tons at the top there. And then you've just got a few pictures of it and the guns that you get with it. You see get four guns and two of these satellites here. Just showing the transformation as well. And then a little bit more of Metroplex. And then when you open it up, you get um, the gun, the radars in here and the, all the different guns. I've got the original head in there at the moment. So I'll just show you a bit of a size comparison as well. So I'll just take this out here. So, so that's the two, two heads kind of side by side. So you can see, see the difference. This one's, this one's much bigger, um, the antennas and stuff like that. And you've got a lot more detail on the face. It's much more kind of IDW accurate if you like. You can move it all the way around, move it up, down, you can move the antenna around. The voice activation function still works. So you just press this down. I think it suits the voice a bit better though. The thing on here. I've got some pictures on here. And how you actually um, take it off is um show you you've got if you when the head's on if you imagine you, you turn it around you've got these screws in here which you take out and you kind of pull this out like this and uh, it's kind of slots slots in here so where it's screwed in they, they just kind of pull together and these two bits that were the black and the grey bits just slot together in this little it just comes in in here. It's really it's really easy to do. It's literally a case of pulling two screws screws out of the existing one. Obviously it comes with the screws on the on the new one and you just fit it around uh, the existing space where the um, other head used to be. And you take out this uh, red bit as well which will be fitted at the top there so you'll just need to remove that as well. Uh, but that's it, yeah, you just pop it on, it's dead easy. Um, it's really worth it and it transforms as well so um, it just kind of falls forward like that to make it a little cockpit like that so I'm not sure if you can get like a little mini car I think they've got um, so I've got the guys from Scoop here so they probably fit in there I think Yeah, you can just about get them in there. They don't really sit down or anything. Um, potentially, you might be able to get some of the the other figures in there. The ones that come with um, the Legends figures in there, perhaps. Yeah, that one doesn't quite stand up properly. I wonder if I get them like that. Maybe or not. It will or not. No, I don't want to stand up. Let's try the other one. No, again, it just falls forward a little bit. But yeah, you can have that. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a gunning station that you've got in there. You have that in both modes. And then you've got things like the um, radar dishes. You see at the back here, which you can plug on. Plug on here. If you're in vehicle mode, you can plug these on the on the back here as well. Like that, so you get a close up. Here, yeah. you've got these little guns here, you can put, put them on the arm. So I've actually put them on the side of the arm here. So, 
as you've got it, probably the best place to have them in robot mode is actually on these two holes here. So you can actually have them place them in these holes here. Like that. They go really nicely. I've done a few photos as well so you can have a look to see what the actual set looks like as well. But um, I've just popped I've just popped him in his vehicle mode for the moment just because it's easier to get the what pictures and you can actually see what he looks like like this. The only probably downside to it, I think, if there was any, I think people really point this out is if this was black here rather than the dark grey. But it's nice to have that option of putting his head up and down as well, so you have him really looking down at someone and glaring at someone, or you can you know, have him kind of pointing his gun and pointing up towards the sky. But yeah, I think that really kind of um, puts the ice on the cake for this figure. It looks awesome like this. I think I might get hold of the kind of six gun, one six gun figures as well, and have a look see if we can get a review on him. But you've got with this set, you've got uh, a lot of flexibility, so you, you've got these two radar dishes, like I said, um, you've got these, and you can pop them on him in multiple places in robot mode, city mode, and vehicle mode. And the same with these guns, so I'll show you these in a bit more detail. Take these off. So you've got these ones as well, so you've got four of those, and these go in multiple places as well. Pretty much the plug in anywhere, you've got loads of different places that you can pop them in. Um, so you, you can sort of mix and match it a lot. It's a pretty good set actually, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, yeah, I can't think of any kind of downsides to set apart from that. This bit here being dark grey rather than red, I think that's really about, about it and that's really kind of nitpicking. Uh, what I'll do is I'll post a few more pictures and things so you can see what it looks like in robot mode and things like that. Um, other than that, um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers guys. Bye.